Hey guys, what is up? Niad here with Film Comics Explained, and today we'll be taking a look at the Demigorgon, a predatory humanoid creature that originates from the parallel dimension known as the Upside Down, as featured in the awesome Netflix series Stranger Things. The Demigorgon is a tall humanoid creature with a head that does not contain any facial features, but merely opens like a flower to reveal many razor sharp teeth. It is considerably strong and has been noted to break down walls and easily overpower a man. The creature was seen to be hostile every time it was encountered, chasing down anything that caught its eye, and appeared to operate on instinct rather than intelligence. Its skin appeared to be extremely durable, protecting it from bullet fire and beatings. It also appeared to possess regenerative healing, being able to heal itself from burns and other injuries. Although only shown in a limited capacity, the creature also displayed a form of telekinesis when it unlocked the hatch on Will's door. Two of the most worrying aspects of the Demigorgon, other than its notorious flower face, are that it has the most incredible ability to detect blood, like a shark, but more advanced, as it is essentially able to detect droplets of blood between dimensions. The creature also possessed the ability to travel between said dimensions, which was seen when the Demigorgon passed through the town of Hawkins at will, and began abducting residents and taking them back to the Upside Down to feed on them. The creature was first noticed by Eleven, who was placed in a sensory deprivation tank for one of the experiments that were being conducted at the Hawkins National Laboratory. Her task was to eavesdrop on a Russian spy, which is when she came across the monster. Intrigued by the creature, Brenner forced Eleven to repeat the experiment, and this time make contact with the bee. Eleven approached it to find that it was feeding on something. At the moment of contact, a portal began to appear in the wall of the lab room, allowing the Demigorgon the opportunity to enter our dimension and wreak havoc. The monster's ability to travel between dimensions was also demonstrated when it began stalking Will, who hid inside the shed and loaded a rifle in self-defense. The monster appeared behind him before taking him to the Upside Down. While Mike, Lucas and Dustin investigated the disappearance of their friend, they began noticing the similarities between Will's disappearance and their recent Dungeons and Dragons campaign, where Will's character was defeated by a Demigorgon. It's from this point onwards that they began referring to the monster as the Demigorgon. Other than the obvious reference to Dungeons and Dragons, Demigorgon is a term associated with a deity or demon that resides in the underworld. Speaking about the Demigorgon, the Duffer brothers had this to say, we don't want to reveal much other than to say it is an interdimensional being that has more in common with the shark from Jaws than Pennywise from It. When the monster enters our dimension, it's like a shark breaching the water. Very much like a shark, it drags its prey back into its home where it feeds. Each time it enters our world, it leaves a small tear or wound. That is essentially what Joyce found in her wall in episode 4 and what Nancy had found in the tree in episode 5. These tears are like portholes into the Upside Down, but they don't last very long. Like wounds, they eventually heal and seal shut. So in the first season, every single portal but one is in fact made by the Demigorg slipping between dimensions. The one in particular, of course, is the first permanent tear which Eleven admitted to making. Help! Mike. I'm sorry. Sorry? What are you sorry for? The gate. I opened it. I'm the monster. In what has to be the coolest use of telekinesis since Scanners and Carrie, Eleven uses her powers to pin the Demigorgon to the wall before destroying it in what almost appeared like an act of reality altering, which is an insane display of power. Eleven, stop! During the production of Season 1, the Duffers solicited the artists at Aaron Sims Creative to design the look of the Demigorgon, 
giving them the specific description of a humanoid creature with no face that just has a mouth. The final result would be a creature that was heavily inspired by the creature designs of Hedgehog Geiger, Clive Barker, and Guillermo del Toro. Though the creative team did draw a lot from nature too, with the Demigorgon's flower face design. A lot of the scenes involving the Demigorgon were actually done using practical effects, with stuntman Mike Steger playing the monster in a suit with an animatronic head, while the CGI was used sparingly for the things they couldn't do in front of the camera. Well, that's all folks. This was suggested by a handful of you guys, so thank you all. I'm a huge fan of the series, so if there's any other topics within Stranger Things you'd like me to cover, please let me know in the comments below. As always, it's been a pleasure. Niat here with Film Comics Explained. Thanks for stopping by. Nancy! Nancy! Where are you? Nancy, just follow me.